Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to create this Stairway to Heaven painting. I hope you enjoy. We're going to start off with grabbing um, a little bit of like a purple mixed with white to create a beautiful lavender pastel purple color. We're just going to be coloring the top uh, two thirds of the painting with that. We're going to leave um, about a 3 inch in diameter of the circle in the center. That's where we will be painting our sun later. So it might look a little bit weird right now, but I am just grabbing a flat brush with um, a little bit of blue. Um, and I'm just going around. Um, the top of the purple. This is basically where the sky is, the top half where the heavenly gate will be. So I'm just putting down basically like the foundation colors and then we'll be doing a little bit more blending. Um, so feel free to create whatever shape or form of cloud you want to do. Um, and then once you're happy with what you've done, I'm just now going to start to introduce the colors for the sunset. Um, so don't worry too much about the center because we will be painting a door um, in the center of the sun later. But I just created basically like a peach um, color and I'm just going from lighter to darker and then I'll be blending in a little bit more purple. Here I'm just adding a little bit more uh, texture to the clouds. Again, we're just going to keep layering and layering. The whole painting is literally just clouds. So I'm adding a little bit more of a darker purple around the edges of some of the clouds and leaving some of the lighter um, edges of other clouds just to make it look more, um, more realistic. All right, now taking a break from the top part of the clouds, we're gonna work on the bottom part of the painting. So this part we're doing the basically the entrance clouds. So again, I'm just starting with a base color, um, doing more of a darker blue, not so much navy blue, just slightly lighter. And I'm just doing a small outline of where the stairway will be. Going back up to the top part of the painting now, we're going to start adding a little bit more white for um, the clouds. Again, we're just going to keep laying and layering. Um, it is important to switch from spot to spot just so you don't get too exhausted from working in one area of the painting because it can get frustrating. Um, once you're happy with the outcome of the clouds and transition, um, you can move on down and that's what I'm doing now. I'm just doing kind of like small waves as of like the ocean, but it's more like fluffier. Okay, so I went ahead and outlined the stairs. Um, I just use the pencil, don't use a marker or pen, just so that if you don't like the lines or anything, you can erase it. Just use the ruler and a pencil and then just made an outline of the stairway, um, basically going from larger to smaller. 
and I created the door. While you're painting the stairs, make sure that the gray top part of the stair um, gets lighter as you get closer to the door, the sun, just so it makes it look like the light from the sun is transcending down on the stairs and it goes from lighter to dark. Alright, so here we're going to be coloring in the door and the two pillars in pure titanium white. I went over it I think about two or three times just to make the white really pop. Here we're just grabbing a little bit of blue um, to start off our plants or flowers um, on the sides of the stairway. So just with a, really with any brush, I'm using a round flat brush and using the tip of that, just dabbing on in um, a smooth motion the, the paint.
it's all about details now so now I'm just working a little bit more on the stairs and creating um, it's kind of like the stone effect on the top of the stair um, so just using a dark gray color I'm going around these kind of wavy lines to create a stone like effect Here I'll be adding in uh, the part where there is a person um, going up the stairs to the gate. So grabbing a little bit of the titanium white again, feel free to do an outline first before you start painting. Um, we're just going to be outlining a dress and then the hair and then we'll be filling it in with the white. Grabbing a fan brush and a little bit of titanium white once more, we're just going to be smoothly brushing um, the white on the stairs, just as if, again, giving that effect that there is an immense amount of light coming out of that gate. So after finishing this painting the day before, um, I decided to add a little bit more uh, white to the clouds to make it lo look more whiter and fluffier. And I also went over the flowers to add more pink, blue, and purple to make the flowers pop a little bit more as well. Okay, so that brings us to the end of this painting. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed doing it. Um, I did it as a loving memory of my aunt that just recently passed away. I hope you guys loved it, and until then, God bless and take care.